Hello everyone and welcome to your Sagittarius full moon tarot reading. If you are not interested in hearing any information about the full moon, go ahead and just go to the timestamp below for your sign. Um, I have also inserted a Sagittarius moon timestamp as well. So if you have a Sagittarius moon, listen to that as well as your sun sign. For the rest of you, um, just click on your sun sign to get your full moon messages. So <clears throat> this is happening today, the 29th, and um, this full moon cycle will go until June 27th um, as we have the Capricorn full moon on June 28th. So this reading will look at the energy between now and then when the moon is full in Capricorn. So Sagittarius is the ninth house, which is higher learning and spirituality. It's ruled by Jupiter, which is, you know, the lucky planet, right? Good things come with Jupiter. Jupiter is actually retrograde right now. But um, since this is the house that is highlighted, um, overall, you know, there might be some lucky energy for some of you out there, as well as... Um, like things just coming to you from a spiritual level, really expanding in a spiritual way um, through this full moon cycle, as well as your consciousness in general, okay? So a lot of expansion in those areas can be expected through this full moon energy. And there <clears throat> is so much, <clears throat> sorry, there is so much other astrology going on right now as well. It's just like, wow. So there's no way I could incorporate it all into this reading. So we're only going to focus on the Sagittarius full moon energy. And um, <clears throat> like I said, it could be lucky for some, but expect expansion of your consciousness and of your spiritual beliefs, of your soul. Your intuition may be really off the charts as well. So it's going to be a good time. Um, inner, Sagittarius is fire energy. It's very courageous. It's a competitive. It's um, I will get things done. I will get them done proficiently. It's just, um, you know, a lot of you might feel very invigorated with the breath of fresh air of energy inside of you to become motivated to get different things done that you've been wanting to do and you've been, you know, kind of pushing off. So this full moon cycle is really good time you know to get things moving because you're going to have the energy and motivation to make that happen as well as allowing yourself to expand consciously and spiritually and believe in the magic and believe in the luck over this full moon cycle so I will start with Sagittarius moon so the rest of you um, go to your timestamps and um, get your messages All right so a Sagittarius moons and I'm a Sagittarius moon too so this is our full moon the only full moon that we get this year so let's see what is being activated within you through this full moon cycle. And don't forget to also watch your sun sign messages for this as well. Okay. Ooh, we got Saturn, the part of you that accepts challenges to gain wisdom. So, you know, honestly, I'm not surprised to see this because... The next full moon is going to be in Capricorn, and Capricorn is the 10th house. It sits right next to Sagittarius. So this is um, all about Sagittarius full moons really wanting to achieve something, master something, manifest something into reality. And this full moon energy is giving you that discipline and diligence that you seek, that you need to really anchor yourself down and get focused on your dreams, on your goals, on your future. You know, for some of you, this is about yourself, just getting yourself together and grounded and focused, you know. So really nice, really nice energy. Let's see what this Sagittarius full moon is bringing you, what is manifesting through this full moon cycle.
Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. We got cycles, and this is all about the cycle of the moon, and um, what you give is what you receive. Uh, you know, karma, um, what comes around goes around. Uh, questions that you have right now today may be answered in similar circumstances in the near future to come. So there, this right here can mean many different things. Let's pull the next card. Ooh, nice. And we have wishing. So, um, okay. What I feel about this is those of you who have been working hard, being really focused, something that you want has the power to manifest through this full moon cycle okay it's definitely like what you've been putting out is coming back to you for sure during this full moon cycle and because this is Saturn I feel like many of you this has to do with like career or um, just like who you are getting yourself together getting really focused being diligent about self-improvement being disciplined in the different changes that you have been wanting to make in your life for yourself and it's like this full moon cycle is bringing you lots of positive energy and positive return you reap what you sow and that is so true um, with this. So nice, though. Really nice. Some of you, this is uh, going to pay off in your career sector. That's where you're going to see um, most of this return. And it's something that you've really been wanting. Because with the wishing card, it's like, yeah, you can truly have anything you want. You can be anything you want. But there's always a cost to it, right? And that cost is the energy, time, and effort of yourself that you put in to anything, right? Right? So with paired up with Saturn, it's like you've been doing the work, you've been doing what it takes, you've been efforting physically, energetically, mentally, emotionally, aligning yourself, and now here comes this manifestation. So let's pull you some advice to wrap this up because this looks really good for Sagittarius moons, just saying, just saying guys. And uh, I did my own, so I don't even associate my, my Sagittarius moon energy with your guys' reading whatsoever. But um, I will say this, mine was similar to this. So we're all kind of on the same vibe. And what I see here is some of you, you're getting something really awesome, something you've really been wanting. And with, um, you know, Sagittarius being ruled by Jupiter, remember that's lucky energy and it's paired up with Saturn here. They're both retrograde, so they're returning something to you. All right, remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. So the advice, as advice, listen, during this full moon cycle, you may have some old energy, old emotions kind of bubble up to the top of the surface. Stuff that you really thought you were over and done with and that didn't bother you anymore. And the truth is, it doesn't bother you. Even if you're kind of feeling it and it might be making you a little bit of a, a you know, emotional, it's not... Um, because it's still a part of you or that it's trying to give you some sign or synchronicity that you know whatever this is for you is supposed to be in your life it's saying now is the time that you can fully release that energy the time has come to completely clear your space of all old energies residual energies you know stuff that just isn't a part of who you are anymore and uh something beautiful is coming in so Sagittarius moons you guys it's like the bomb.com for you guys that's all I'm gonna say so I am wishing you awesome manifestations through this full moon cycle take care <clears throat> all right Sagittarius Sun let's see what this full moon in Sagittarius is activating inside of you. Ooh, we have Uranus here. So this is um, a chance 
for like a sudden change, a, a shakeup, um, shock, awe, wow. <clears throat> you know, it's like something that happens very quickly. This really reminds me of the Tower card in the Tarot. And, you know, to me, the Tower card can indicate definitely something negative, but it also has uh, come out showing very positive shakeups. You know, sometimes something is powerful and rocks your world, but it's in a very positive way and it's everything that you've been asking for right so this full moon is activating the uranian energy inside of you guys and you have the potential here over this full moon cycle to really make some big changes in your life or even like the universe just boom handing stuff to you guys okay like uh, reward because full moon energy is all about the manifestation right so um, let's uh, let's pull some energies to see what is going to manifest for you guys We got love. We like that, right? Oh, and we got confidence. Okay, yeah. So, Sagittarius Sun. And I just wanted to peek at the next card. And we have fulfillment. So, we know it's good all day long, right? It's good all day long for Sagittarius Suns with this Sagittarius full moon. Um, there could be a big change to your love life, your romantic situations. But um, with confidence here, big change to your confidence level. Um, I'm a very positive, optimistic person. So I'm reading this as very positive change and improvement in these areas because, again, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter is an awesome planet. It's um, wonderful energy. It's luck. It is your self-confidence. Um, let's see. I'm going to pull it out so you can see. Your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck. So this is what rules Sagittarius, is that energy right there, okay? And the full moon is in that energy. So with this sudden um, change in your love and your confidence, I feel like it's a very positive change, all right? So over this next moon cycle, which again goes until about the 27th of June, your, you know, your romantic life, um, the love that you have for yourself, for others, just love in general is going to be improved, uplifted. Your confidence, your belief in yourself is going to be improved. It's going to be uplifted. There's... Um, experiences and circumstances that are going to play out that feed these two areas of your life to build them up to improve them okay some of you this is like that just total sudden paradigm shift out of nowhere and you're like oh my god wow is this real am i dreaming <clears throat> so it's really good sagittarius sun i see this uh, sagittarius full moon cycle as a very positive thing for you guys Okay, so let's uh, pull some advice for you guys. Ooh, look at that! <laughs> and we have Moonlight. Um, this couldn't be any better since we're doing a full moon reading, right? Travel, romance, potential. Your potential for sudden change, enlightenment, and awakening and travel romance potential so Sagittarius I definitely see some of you potentially um, going on an unexpected trip th over this full moon cycle between now and the 27th um, and you know it's romantic to me because we have love and then we have this card with romance and this sudden like change and shock so like all of this could just kind of come out of nowhere or you could be already planning on going on a trip and love shows up while you're on that trip okay um 
it doesn't have to be related to love, but you know, a trip could just kind of come up out of nowhere. There's great potential for romance for sure, 100% for Sagittarius sons. Um, even if you're in a relationship, it's like things could just like really improve and feel awesome and much better and just like everything's flowing. We might decide out of nowhere to go on this trip. Sagittarius is just feeling really good about who they are and um, you know with this full moon energy and potential I feel like you guys are going to be really empowered um, reach for those stars believe in yourself and just you know do whatever it takes because I feel like you guys can have just some profound shift like you guys expect the unexpected during this full moon cycle so those are the messages I have for Sagittarius Sun super awesome I am wishing you guys all the best take care Hello Capricorn, let's see what part of you is being activated through this full moon cycle between now, May 29th, and June 27th, and then right after that on the 28th, the, um, we have your full moon, so this, is, this full moon is definitely leading into yours, so let's see what comes out Capricorn. Ooh, we have Pluto, which... Uh, interesting Pluto is retrograde in the 10th house right now along with Saturn Saturn being your ruling planet and the 10th house being your house okay so um, we have Pluto in that house right now retrograde and this coming out as the energy being activated within you during this full moon cycle tells me um, you're really feeling this Pluto retrograde energy through this full moon and it's not a bad thing I don't feel your ability to transform take a big leap forward and rebirth um, Pluto's in that 10th house which is about you know career um, our status in the outside world you know just our place in humanity at large what are we giving what are we offering who do people see us as you know who do we want people to see us as what is our reputation um, definitely energy of that with this Pluto so there could be a lot of big changes for you in the career sector uh, in during this full moon cycle but it could be deeper than that because Pluto is actually the ruler of Scorpio right and Scorpio is eighth house which is intense emotions um, your ability to really transform through any situation also it's about shared resources so um, you know take into consideration that Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio but it is also currently retrograde in your house the 10th house of career so let's see what this full moon is manifesting for you so those of you who have been feeling very trapped um, no options no way to move forward I feel like that is changing during this full moon oh my goodness and look at this you guys actually have the cycles card which is all about the cycle of the moon and you see that full moon right there so this is like um, what comes around goes around reaping what you sow karma um, either something you have been asking for in the past is now finally going to manifest and be revealed or what you're asking for right now is going to be manifested and revealed you know in um, similar circumstances in a short time to come so to me this is saying wherever you're feeling trapped and restricted that's either having a huge transformation over this Sagittarius full moon cycle or it's just that you're very focused on the improvement of this during this Sagittarius full moon cycle and when we get into your full moon which is the next full moon that's when everything manifests for you so it's like one or the other this is a general reading so you know I, I can't say for sure which way and each one of you it's different some of you this Sagittarius full moon energy is everything you need to become that Phoenix rising from the ashes to free yourself from any sort of situation or pers person relationship or circumstance where you feel trapped this is like 
um, I can't move forward, there's no opportunities for me, I don't see my path ahead, like it's just, uh, what do I do, where do I go, and that's either all changing through this full moon cycle, or when it's time for your full moon cycle, that's when everything changes, okay? So if you've been putting in the work to improve yourself, to free yourself, because see how this is like a black bird in a cage? And now here we have this beautiful phoenix rising from the ashes, like the ashes black, black, you know? And you're transforming into something entirely brand new. I love it. This is very positive for you guys. So let's pull, um, oh, yep, look at this, look at this advice. Um, this, the goddess of creation, transformation, creativity, wholeness, your ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. Um, yeah, that's just reiterated by your uh, advice here. But more to the point, Capricorn, if you've done all you can do, it's time to relax and take a time out and give yourself a break, give yourself a breather, because it's like whatever it is, it's already set in motion and it's more of a matter of timing now. Okay, so those are your messages that I have for this Sagittarius full moon energy. I am wishing you guys all the very best. Take care. Hello, Aquarius. Let's see what this Sagittarius full moon energy has in store for you. We're going to pull a planet card to see what will be activated inside of you with this full moon energy in Sagittarius? And this cycle does go until the 27th of June. And on the 28th, that's when the moon will become full in Capricorn. And the moon will shift through every other sign between now and then, okay? I'm just saying this is a cycle. The full moon Sagittarian energy will last with you until that Capricorn full moon shows up. Okay. Ooh, you guys got Saturn. You guys are working very hard. Um, this is what's activated inside of you. The part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. So Aquarius is very... Um, diligent and focused on I feel like career uh, improving their self financially their status and reputation you know in the outside world within their current company within the business world altogether you know this is um, very focused and disciplined energy it's not it's I don't, it's not about playing and having fun and all that. No, it's like, no, I, I need to be focused. I need to be grounded. I want to make this happen for myself. So um, Saturn is currently retrograde in that 10th house, right, of career and um, status in the outside world. So it's really, you're really feeling that energy through this Sagittarius full moon cycle. But to me, again, it's positive. It's it's not a negative thing because Sagittarius is the house of higher learning and spirituality and luck and confidence, okay? So that energy is being highlighted and inside of you, you're taking that energy and funneling it towards your career or getting something better about yourself, you know, along those lines. So it's very positive if you ask me. And you're really reassessing where you've been and what has worked and what hasn't. So let's see what this full moon is manifesting for you. Oh, okay. We got that. Wanted to fly out. So, ooh, look at this. Vision, Aphrodite. And look at that big full moon back there. Uh, this full moon cycle is going to bring you a lot of intuition and insight. Do not doubt it. Do not question it. Your intuition is going to be on fire. More to the point, this is talking about bringing you healing from um, a love situation of the past that has really hurt you and you're recognizing all the pain and challenge and heartache that you went through in that relationship was actually growing you and really shaping you. And you now, because we have this full moon in Sagittarius, higher spirituality, higher learning, 
you're making the connection, you're connecting those dots and really incorporating what you have learned and it's making sense in an all new way. The part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom, the wisdom of your past heartache is now being incorporated into you this full moon cycle. Holy crap, and look at this. Now we have reminders coming out, yep. That is about the past and, and lessons and you've already learned it, Aquarius, and you don't need to do it again. It's like this Sagittarius full moon energy is incredibly powerful for you guys. It's a complete ability to shed the past, okay? Um, and all the wisdom is now incorporated inside of you. Like there's this huge expansion of your consciousness that's taking place during this full moon cycle. And it's like you're going to be able to leave the past behind finally. Okay. Um, now with these two cards in Saturn, the past may come back, maybe showing back up through this full moon cycle. But you just kind of already know and you might get your chance to be like, hey, piss off and never come back here again. Okay, like if anything's returning to you from the past, that's the energy I'm feeling from you because it's like this full moon is just like highlighting all of the wisdom that you have gained through your travels up to this point. It's really powerful, probably the most powerful uh, reading so far. So let's get you some advice. Look at that. Intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart. So yeah, your intuition, Aquarius, is off the charts off the charts and also as a side note for some of you because we have Aphrodite and intuitive communication there may be somebody that um, you have this really special soul connection with and um, you just might be prompted to really explore that okay um, through this full moon cycle and I feel like it's because you finally understand your past so you know, your intuition is going to be on fire, Aquarius. Do not discount yourself. Do not discount your intuition. Listen to it. Follow it. Learn from the past. If the past is showing back up, you already know. You already know. That's what this is telling you. You already know. It is not going to be any different this time around. Okay? So those are your messages, Aquarius. I am wishing you all the best. Take care. Hello, Pisces. Let's take a look and see what's being activated inside of you during this Sagittarius full moon. Ooh, look at this. We have Neptune, your own energy, Pisces, your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. So before I even address this card, um, we're going to pull what is manifesting for Pisces because this could go a couple different ways. But there's a unicorn and a mermaid on this card. And um, I don't know, that's a sign or synchronicity to some of you out there. So let's pull these really quick. And then we'll see what this Neptune is telling us. Because Neptune can be where we do need to indulge in fantasy for the to create enough energy for the manifestation. And Neptune can also be where we've completely illusioned ourselves about something. So let's see what is up. And I think um, Neptune is actually going to go retrograde. I just don't know exactly when. Okay, so we have some healing here. Grove. And invisible. Okay, so listen, Pisces, what I feel for you, oh, and then look at, I'm just going to pull this because <laughs> this goes so perfectly paired um, with th these cards. Um, Pisces, what I see here is uh, where it's really time through this full moon cycle, like Pisces is just taking a huge step back from everybody and everything. And this is, you need to go within, you need to indulge in yourself, in your fantasies, in your dreams, in your beliefs. We need to heal ourselves. We need to not be so easily and readily available to um, certain people in our lives. And with meditation here, this is like you've really done all you can do 
on every level. Whatever it is you've been trying to achieve, Pisces, you've done all you can do. And now is the time to just kind of disconnect, become invisible to the world, and work on healing yourself, connecting with your soul, and trusting that spirit is saying, I will highlight the path when it is time for you to act, when it is time for you to move forward. So if anything, this Sagittarian full moon energy is giving Pisces a nice time out. Um, but this isn't like something you don't want. This is something that you do want. There's like... Um, relationships are going to get mended okay there may be people reaching out to you because look at here is the next card is messages and with grove um grove here it's like some of you there are relationships that are going to come back to you for healing you know to be mended um they could be friendships they could be family ships they could be old romances that need closure um it could be a second chance who knows this is just a full moon um reading but the main thing is pisces there is so much healing available for you with this full moon energy it's just unreal and there's messages coming in whether from spirit or from other people it's just a very spiritual time for Pisces okay and I'm not surprised Sagittarius being you know about the spirituality and higher learning and um, expanding of consciousness that is so strong in your reading like that's where you're vibing it's Pisces isn't so concerned about uh, the material during this full moon cycle Pisces is more work it like just your soul you you cannot turn away from it it's like just wow this is a healing time for pisces that's all i gotta say look at this and now we have perception um beyond the veil of illusion and look at this your fantasies yearnings longing and potential for illusions so yeah pisces it's just like all illusions have been shattered about everything and you've pulled back and you're like, you know what? If you want to be in my world, you want to know Pisces, then you're going to have to make the effort. I'm not doing it anymore. It's really like Pisces is pulling back, sees the truth of everyone and everything and is like, yeah, no, I'm not going to play this game and pulls back. And in that pulling back, it's like, that's when all the healing starts coming in for you. So I feel like this was very similar to your weekly um, that I just did for the 28th of May through June 3rd. Um, this feels almost exactly the same reading, to be honest. So this Sagittarius full moon energy, very strong, very powerful for you. You pull back, you make it damn hard for people to reach you. Okay, it's just like you're seeing the truth. So trust yourself and know that spirit will let you know when it's time to act. So Pisces, those are your full moon messages. I am wishing you all the very best. Take care. Hello, Aries. Let's see what this full moon energy has in store for you guys. We're going to pull a card here to see what is activated and highlighted within you with this full moon energy. Ooh, look at this. We have Chiron. We have healing. The healing power, empathy, and ability to teach and learn remedies. So, Aries, this Sagittarius full moon is bringing you profound healing if you so choose it okay it's just like there's going to be people and circumstances and situations that just naturally come into your life or play out in your life over this full moon cycle which is may 29th through june 27th it's just a very natural thing that's happening and it's allowing you to heal different parts of yourself this is general, so all of you, um, what you need healing on is going to be very different, right? But that energy is what's being activated. So when I say activated, it's like it becomes your natural desire to want to heal yourself, okay? Like that becomes your focus, your motivation. It's not like you're pushing yourself or having to force this. No, it's something that is naturally occurring inside of you. So let's see what... Um, this full in, full moon is manifesting for you along with this Chiron. We 
we have the High Priestess of Fire. Yeah, big time healing. Big time healing. And oh, nice. Look at this. And we have the conclusion card. So, um, Aries. This is your own energy right here. This is the High Priestess of Fire. So if you have been um, just not feeling yourself, all of that's about to change with this full moon because Sagittarius is a fellow fire sign. So this is a fire full moon energy, which I feel like you really needed to just kind of reignite the spark within you. And that's what's taking place. Your passion, your motivation, your drive, your excitement, your enthusiasm, your sense for adventure is all returning to you through this full moon energy. And it's like you're ready to finally let go of the past, let go of what's not working out. You're like, I'm ready to close these books and I'm ready to start a new one. It was like maybe before there was some hesitation. You were feeling like you kind of held back, like, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, that's all changing with this full moon energy. You're like, yep, bye, see you later. Um, I'm ready to move forward. I don't care who's coming with me, who's staying behind. I'm done with this wet blanket crap. Like, I can't do it. It's, it's too much for my soul. I'm a free spirit. I need to, you know, run and fly and dream and be and experience and live life to the fullest. And, you know, your fire, Aries, is returning 100%. And you're healing a lot of your past. You're letting so much of that go. I'm seeing that a lot in the readings lately. And, you know, with our planetary alignments we have going on right now, I am not surprised. So, Aries, let's pull you um, an advice card. Ooh, yes. Look at, what did I just say? Yes, peace is coming your way, dissolving unwanted and disturbing thoughts. So, Aries, during this full moon cycle... Focus on the positive as much as you can. Let the negative go. Let the past go. Focus on healing yourself. You're being like brought back to life here and you're going to be so much better than before. You're going to feel happy. Uh, you'll probably be around animals if you can. You'll find a lot of healing energy around animals as well with Chiron out. So Aries, it looks really good for you guys. Um, with the red and the yellow and the orange um, and the green, we might want to work on doing some first, second, third, and fourth chakra balancing and meditation just because I see those colors so strongly and I feel like that will really put you in full alignment, okay? So Aries, those are your messages for the full moon energy. It looks really awesome. A lot of potential for healing and change. I am wishing you all the best. Hi Taurus, so let's see what is coming through for you guys with this full moon energy. I'm going to pull a planet card to see what is being activated inside of you with this full moon energy in Sagittarius. And remember, this is between now and the 27th of June. So I feel like right here... Ooh, we have Vesta, the goddess within, your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity. So, Taurus, this full moon energy is um, really impacting you in a spiritual way more than um, a physical way. It's like you're going to have this desire to kind of disconnect from everybody and pull back and connect with your spirit. You're also going to have desires to really cleanse your spaces like your home, your office, your car, just wherever you are most of the time. You're going to want to physically clean that, maybe even rearrange stuff, reorganize, put things away, um, sage your spaces, also yourself, you might um, want to do some, you know, soaks with um, Epsom salts and essential oils or whatever you use as detoxifiers, because that's what Vest is really about, just a complete detoxification of everything so that you can rebalance your spiritual center and, you know, move forward feeling much more light and uh, with far more ease. So let's pull some cards to see what this full moon energy is manifesting for Taurus. Well, some of you might be getting a new dog. Just as I said that, some dogs just went cray cray outside. Okay, 
Alrighty, so yeah, look at this. Like I said, you're pulling back. Here we have invisible. Oh yeah, look at that in meditation. Uh-huh. And I'll just pull the next card because this is where it's leading to, which is this beauty. So Taurus, this is what I'm seeing here. You are, during this full moon cycle, it's just a very natural, organic thing where you feel the need to pull back. Like, you are intentionally trying to become invisible and not, you know, so easily accessible and available to others. It's just like you so badly need to reconnect with your soul. Um, you, even if you're like, I be meditating, I be doing this all the time. Okay, fine. But there's some aspect where you need to completely give yourself some time, disconnect from everyone and everything. Like you, you really need this because beauty, in doing this, this is what is being born inside of you, okay? It's a very deep spiritual thing where your eyes now see like with rose colored glasses on, but I feel like this is more about yourself, like seeing yourself through these beautiful um, glasses because it's not that the glasses aren't real or just they're distorting anything. It's like they're actually letting you see how truly beautiful you are within, without, okay? Um, I just feel like for Taurus, some of you have kind of lost your way. You know, life circumstances and people have pulled you from your spiritual center and made you question yourself, made you question your worth and your beauty and what you bring to the table. And this isn't just, you know, like romance. This is across the board. This is every area of your life where you're feeling this need to really pull back. And look at how similarly, similarly colored these cards are. Okay, they're all very similar. We have some orange in here, um, pretty strong, or I'm sorry, orange, just some yellow. We have yellow here, yellow, yellow. So that to me is third chakra. You need to regain your empowerment from within. And this here is saying, listen, Taurus, you've done all you can do. It's time for people to give back to you. It's time for life to give back to you. So you need to pull back become not so easily accessible to anyone and focus on your beautiful self and rebalancing your chakras and rerooting yourself with Mother Earth Gaia. I just feel like some of you are just you've kind of lost your way and it's not because of you. It's just because of the people and crap you've been dealing with. So let's pull you some advice. Yeah, look at this, the temptress, seduction, deceit, a broken promise. This to me is exactly what I've said. You've been pulled off your track. You've been pulled from your spiritual center. Um, you've been, you're not thinking right about yourself. Like you're thinking less about yourself than you should because of what's been said to you. Because look, card 15, card 16, we need to become invisible to whatever this temptress is for you personally, like you need to become really hard to access, like they need to work really hard to get to you, okay, because they don't have your best interest at heart, this could be a person, this could be several people, this could be uh, just different circumstances, situations, um, connections, you know, general reading, you have got to apply it where it fits, you need to become invisible to whatever this is, and work on healing yourself and you know balancing yourself within okay so Taurus those are your full moon energy messages and look even this we have uh, the same coloring balance that third chakra Taurus I am wishing you guys all the very best take care hi Gemini let's see what messages come out for you guys we're gonna start by pulling a card to see what energy is being activated inside of you with this full moon okay Ooh, look at this we have Pluto um, your ability to transform take a big leap forward and rebirth so this here 
there are big changes that Gemini is wanting to make somehow, some way. So let's pull your cards to see what's manifesting for you because I feel like this is speaking more about there are, like you are transforming this full moon cycle, which is May 29th through June 27th. Like there is some great change happening in your life between now and then. So let's see. Yeah, wow. Okay, so this is the High Priestess of Water. This is saying go with the flow and watch your life transform right before your very eyes. So yeah, there's a big change coming for Gemini. Um, this is also um, the you know water energy and Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio. So some of you, this could be... Um, something to do with a Scorpio, if you're involved with a Scorpio, or this is just like you're taking on the Scorpion energy through this um, full moon cycle. And uh, don't forget, Pluto is retrograde in the 10th house. So this could have something to do with career, or this could have to do with um, some sort of intense emotions or you know partnership of some kind. Wow, and here's invisible. I'll tell you what, this card has come out a lot um, for several signs for this uh, full moon cycle. It's just like your life is going to change, Gemini. And I feel as though in order for this transformation to really happen, for you to be this phoenix rising from the ashes, there are some people and situations you need to become invisible to and um, kind of hide yourself away from as you flow through this energy, okay? Um, and with that said, is when you have really pulled back and you make it hard to access you, those who truly care and who are truly interested, they're going to work harder, right, to get to you. But those who are just around to play games and not be genuine and not be real, they're not going to um, stick around, are they? They're not going to work hard to reach you or get to you. Um, for others of you, what I feel about this is it's like there's some situation or person in your life where you've been feeling very invisible and unseen and um, I feel like that is what's changing for you during this full moon energy it's like that is complete transformation right before your eyes is really what this card is about and damn same with Pluto huge transformation for Gemini this is general so it's gonna you know obviously be different for everybody but um, I would say strongest it's either um, in your career or something to do with a relationship where you have very intense emotions okay so let's pull your advice Gemini yeah look at this sacred journey life cycles family transformation so you have transformation times three because your life will literally transform and change right before your eyes. Your ability to transform transformation. Um, yeah, Gemini, this is uh, this full moon energy cycle. I feel like there's a lot that's going to be going on for you. A lot of big changes and shifts and things that you just didn't even expect or think would ever happen or pan out. Like, do. So really expect the unexpected. I feel like there's a lot of fun and exciting energy here, but for some of you, you know, with like with anything, there is a little bit of pain and heartache with challenge and change, right? So I feel like it's kind of a balance of both, really, because also look at this is card 22. So it's like a balance of both. Like there's some really good, exciting things happening, but also through those changes, you know, there's things you've got to let go of and sacrifice and move beyond from. So. Gemini, a uh, huge, huge transformational month. A lot is going to be different between now and when we're looking at the Capricorn full moon energy. So you will have to let me know. Um, lots of good things, though. Okay, it looks really good to me. So those are your full moon energy messages. I am wishing you all the very best, Gemini. Take care. Hello, Cancer. Let's take a look and see what part of you is being activated with this full moon in Sagittarius. 
Oh, look at this. You guys got the moon. This is your own energy as you're ruled by the moon. Your unconscious, sensitive inner emotions and responses. So this full moon cycle is um, really tapping you into yourself, to your intuition, which I'm not surprised because, you know, Sagittarius is the ruler of the ninth house, which is that higher um, learning and spirituality, right? So that's really being highlighted for cancer. Not only that, your intuition is going to be off the charts. So you trust yourself, okay? And because um, the sun's next uh, stop is going to be in your sign, I feel like your new moon is going to be very significant for you. It's like this Sagittarius full moon energy is uh, connected to your new moon energy. And that's um, your new moon is in July. So between now and July... There's going to be, I feel, a lot going on in Cancer's emotional world and intuition. But, you know, it, I think it's positive. This is like big time growth. So let's see um, what is manifesting with this full moon energy in Sagittarius. Woo! Yeah! Success, baby! We like that. We like that success. Ooh, and look at this. We have letting go. So do you want to know what this is saying, Cancer? Um, have you ever heard the term, if you love something, set it free. If it comes back, it was meant to be. But if it doesn't come back, then it wasn't, right? That's what this is about. This is saying, you know, whatever you've been really just like have a strong grip and hold on because you want it so bad, let it go and trust the universe, and that's how you have success. Now, for some of you, this has already happened where you said, to hell with it, I'm just going to let it go, I'm going to flow, I'm going to trust the universe, and now in this full moon cycle, you have success, like whatever you let go is now returning to you. Some of you, this is like you've been trying to let something go for a while, and this um, Sagittarius full moon energy is actually um, when it happens, when you finally feel free of it, you finally um, feel like you're happy again, like it can never hurt you, it can never touch you. Um, some of you, this is like where you're letting some part of yourself go because you've um, achieved something here, like you're expanding into a new version of yourself. All of this, no matter what, is it incredibly positive it's you know something is coming in you have success this month and also it's just like you have the gift of goodbye too where you're just I don't know you're flowing that's what I feel with this moon energy it's like you are just in the flow and in that flow everything is working out for you and what you doesn't serve you or you don't need it's like you're just totally um, letting it go and look at this. This is your advice. The yin yang, creating harmony through balance. And um, that's pretty much everything that we just talked about, right? It's like cancer is in the flow. And if you're finding yourself struggling to be in that flow, this is saying that's your key, okay? The key to the success, card 39, is card 40, yin yang, creating harmony through balance. Just be in the flow through this full moon cycle, cancer. And it's just like... Everything's going to come to you, and it's just going to work out. Let go of what doesn't serve you. And look at, we have a butterfly on here, and look at, she's letting butterflies go. So it's like you're transforming into a new version of yourself. There, your life is transforming into a new version that perhaps you didn't think could ever happen or could be. So this is all extremely positive, Cancer. There is success for you somehow, some way, um, some big transformation taking place with all these butterflies. Trust your intuition. It's going to be on fire. You're just going to know like you know. It, nobody can even, like, you'll just be like, nah, trust me. My uh, spiritual antenna is so on point right now. Like, lie all you want, but I just, I see right through it. And I, you know what? I don't even care. I'm just going to flow. I'm enjoying life. Everything is working out for me because cancer, it is. So, 
those are your Sagittarius full moon messages. I am wishing you guys all the very best. Take care. Hi, Leo. Let's see what is being activated inside of you during this full moon cycle. Wow, look at that. You guys have the moon. So this full moon in Sagittarius is going to have you very tapped in to your intuition. And um, Sagittarius is the ninth house of higher learning and spirituality. So that pairs very nicely um, with that. But also, you see we have this eclipse happening, this lunar eclipse going on. And... Um, Leo season is when we start having um, the eclipses again. So I feel like this Sagittarius full moon energy is the start of all of that for you. Like there's big profound changes going to be taking place in Leo's life over the next several months. Okay. So also, again, your intuition being incredibly on point. Um, you might be feeling a bit more sensitive and emotional than normal but I just feel like it's because you're getting ready to really have big profound changes take place internally externally um, with all of this astrology we have going on right now okay so let's see what is being manifested for Leo with this full moon energy Wow, we have invisible keeps coming out for every sign. Okay, so we have invisible and we have um, grove. What this is saying, Leo, is it is really time. And you know what? I saw this in your weekly reading I did for the 28th of May through the 3rd of June. So it's kind of like that same message playing out here in your Sagittarius full moon messages. It's like it's really time for Leo to pull back and disconnect and you know those who have hurt you Leo it's time for you to become invisible to them and not so easily accessible to them because you need to heal and if they're interested in being in your life they need to reach out to you to heal but also um, relationships where you may need to apologize or heal it's on your mind but I don't really feel like this full moon in Sagittarius is the time to try to heal um, relationships with anybody meaning like you reaching out to give an apology if you owe it like I don't feel like now is the time for that um, others may be coming to you during this full moon energy to try to make amends, have healing, get closure, um, that's fine. But it's like you, you need to remain invisible. You need to not be easily accessible to anybody, okay? They need to reach out to you. They need to make the effort to get to you. And it's just like you're feeling everything. You, it, you might as well be a water sign through um, this Sagittarius full moon, which is rather interesting because Sagittarius is a fellow fire sign, but I feel as though Leo's receiving this energy so much more differently. Um, you're just feeling everyone and everything, and you you want to disconnect. Like, you just, you don't want any part of it. I mean, you see this girl by herself here, there's a person by themselves here, and here you just see a cat sitting on a bench. There's, like, not a whole lot going on in any of these cards. It's like it's time for Leo to take a step back and disconnect from everyone and everything and um, reconnect to yourself and listen to your intuition and just assess what needs to get out of your life. Mainly certain people are just bad. Like they bring you down and you don't even know. So let's pull you some advice. And also, um, maybe some heart chakras healing so look at this we have this is card 16 and this is card 16 um, winter's in regeneration rebirth positive outcome so this is your advice Leo and what this is telling me is yeah during this full moon cycle really take a step back and you know work on healing yourself and letting toxic people go big time and that's like what's going to bring back your happiness and get you out of this long cold winter type of energy 
because we have positive outcomes. So some of the relationships that you might need to step back from this month doesn't mean that they can't ever be healed. But right now isn't the time. It just it isn't. It's really all about Leo reconnecting with self and um, doing what you need to do for yourself and know that things are going to get better. And I definitely feel by eclipse season, you know, um, that's when your winter is truly ended and everything shifts and changes for Leo in a very positive way. So Leo, those are your full moon messages. I am wishing you all the very best. Take care. Hello Virgo, let's see what is being activated inside of you during this full moon cycle. Ooh, we got Jupiter, yay! Your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck. This is the best card ever as Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, right? And um, this is the Sagittarius full moon. So um, Virgo, I'm feeling like this full moon cycle is a very lucky time for you. Okay, like the gods are blessing Virgo. So let's uh, pull some cards to see what is manifesting for you. Also, I feel like your courage and belief in self and your confidence and your self-esteem and everything's going to be elevated. Oh yeah, look at that through this uh, full moon cycle because we just had a card fly out. And this is what's manifesting for you. And just as I was saying that, look at self-worth. Yep, you are going to have, um, oh nice, and we have honesty. So listen, Virgo, this full moon energy is a very lucky and uplifting time for you guys, okay? You are going to feel good about who you are. Your um, self-worth, your confidence, your belief in yourself, all of that's being restored. Um, you're probably going to just be turning a lot of heads more than normal. Um, just the energy emanating from you and honesty. This to me is like... Uh, people are just going to be very honest with you through this full moon cycle and tell you things that you need to hear, you know, give you the answers that have been withheld from you in the past, okay? And I feel like because of what's being said to you, that's what's helping this self-worth. Like, you know, if somebody rejected you, it's like you're finding out that they didn't reject you because of you. Like, it had absolutely nothing to do with you whatsoever. Um... It's just that type of stuff where you're seeing all the dots finally connect and you're realizing that you are the shit and screw everybody else and you're just on fire and it's a very lucky, feel-good time for you this full moon cycle. So I like to see that, Virgo. I really like to see that for you guys. So let's pull some advice for you. And I just feel like you are going to be just incredibly honest to a fault. Like, you're not going to be able to hold back. You're just going to be telling people straight up what you really think and feel, which kudos for you, man. Kudos for you. All right. We have remembrance. This is your advice. So listen, Virgo, even though this is a really good time for you, um, with this card coming out, it tells me that... Uh, there may be some situations of the past, like some emotions and memories that kind of bubble up to the surface over this full moon cycle, but it's not happening um, as a punishment or because, you know, that situation's coming back around again. It's happening because that part of you and your journey is now complete and the universe is washing those energies from you so that you can fly like the eagle, okay? Because it's like Virgo, good things are coming from you. You deserve them. Um, it's time to let go of what has hurt us, what stole our self-worth and self-esteem and confidence, okay? Um, it's just you're finally going to get those answers, Virgo. You're finally going to understand and you're going to realize that there is not a damn thing wrong with you. It's just it was them or they were wrong altogether, something like that. But with Jupiter here on your side, you are lucky. So know that. Believe in luck this month, um, this month, this full moon cycle, that May 29th through June 27th. 
very lucky time for you guys, okay? So those are your messages, Virgo, um, for this full moon energy. It just looks like a really good time. You're going to feel very confident and sure of yourself, and you should. You're going to be very honest, but Others are going to be quite honest with you, but it's in a very positive way. Okay, so we love that. So, Virgo, those are your messages. I am wishing you all the very best. Take care. Hello, Libra. Let's see what is being activated for you guys during this full moon and Sagittarius cycle. Ooh, you guys have Vesta. So, the goddess within your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity. So, Libra, during this Sagittarius full moon cycle, you're going to be feeling kind of pulled into yourself, okay? Um, this is like, I need to disconnect from everybody. I want to detoxify my life. I want to be away from toxic people. I'm cleaning my space, like your home, your office, your car, wherever you are predominantly. It's like you feel this natural urge and desire to clean, reorganize, rearrange. Also, you might consider saging your space as well to clear the uh, vibrations from your space. Um, you might also want to consider doing some Epsom salt soaks with um, essential oils, things like that. Because it's like Libra is pulling back and disconnecting because they need some reprieve from the world. Um, it doesn't have to be like of a negative thing. It's just like, oh, I, I want to be in my own energy. I want to be in my own space. And, you know, I'm not surprised because, again, Sagittarius is of the higher learning um, of spirituality. So it's like Libra is feeling this desire to reconnect to their... Um, spiritual center I feel like as a direction of what do I what's next where do I go next so let's see what this full moon energy is going to manifest for Libra we have loyalty and we have individuality very nice okay yeah so this is making a bit of sense um and the next card out would be um Grove. So I know there's healing taking place here. Basically, I feel like Libra is disconnecting and going within because you're like, I want to see who is really on my side, who really has my back. Um, because with individuality, it's like, Libra, you are very specially made. You are unique. There is nobody like you. And sometimes I feel as though that can make you feel separate, um, unlovable, undesirable, like you don't fit in. And the truth is, with it coming out in this um, energy as what's being manifested for you, is you are coming into the recognition by tapping into your inner self that you are perfectly made and you don't want to change a damn thing about who you are, what you are, to appease another person. You know, you want people to be loyal to you for who and what you are, not what you have, not what they can get from you, not who they want you to be. And I just feel as though this full moon energy is making that abundantly clear. And the people that have your back, you guys are going to have even a closer bond. Um, and there's going to be a few people that you realize are not loyal and true to you and you're willing to let them go. Um, there may be, for some of you, a couple of relationships, it could be friendships, family ships, old romances, whatever, that um, you're really thinking about during this time. And I feel like you're realizing how true and loyal those connections were. And for whatever reason, they've fallen away. And there may be this sense inside of you to want to heal and mend them. Okay, during this full moon cycle, there may be people reaching out to you, Libra, saying, listen, Libra, there's nobody like you. I'm sorry for what I did. I, I want to be on Team Libra. Like, I'm loyal with you till the end. It's like Libra is really figuring out who their true tribe is during this uh, Sagittarius full moon energy. So let's pull you some advice. Not only finding your tribe, 
But also being like, Psh, I'll be a tribe of one if I need to. I'm the baddest shit I ever seen. You know, like it's feeling really good about who you are. Nice. Look at that. Flame tree. The start of something new. Yep, yep. This is really good. This is saying um, this Sagittarius full moon, and I love it because Sagittarius is fire, right? So this is the flame tree, and it almost looks like this red full moon dropping fire down. Um, listen, guys, there is something beautiful igniting and starting inside of you. Your passion um, for life, your zest, your spice, everything about you is about to like go up several notches, and like I said, you are okay with who you are and you're like, screw anybody else that has a problem with me. If you want to be near me, you've got to prove that you are worthy of me. All right. Libra is only interested in finding their tribe. They're not interested in anything else anymore. At least not through this uh, Sagittarius full moon cycle. Um, and with flame tree, there are some relationships that I feel can absolutely be mended and brought back together. Um, but I, I I don't know. It's a toss up on whether you reach out or they reach out to you. It's not really indicated here. So I imagine, you know, life will just naturally set all that up, right? You'll either feel really prompted to fix something with somebody or somebody will just naturally reach out to you because we have this flame tree here. So something brand new is starting and is on the horizon for Libra. Um, overall, like I said, it's Libra figuring out, you know, who's my tribe and who's not. And that's just your biggest focus. And healing um, yourself and healing the relationships that really do matter to you, that you do want to keep around, because it's all new beginnings for Libra. So those are the messages that I have for Libra with this full moon energy. I am wishing you guys all the very best. Take care. Hello, Scorpio. Oops. Let's see what your full moon energies are, what is being activated and highlighted in you during this Sagittarius full moon cycle, which is May 29th through June 27th. Oh, nice, Scorpio. Look at, we have Chiron. Your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies. So, Scorpio... There is a lot of healing energy um, coming to you guys during this Sagittarius full moon cycle. And um, uh, this could be where you're helping others heal, but I really feel like this is coming in for Scorpio. Um, whether you need physical healing, emotional healing, mental healing, um, physical healing. Did I already say that? I might have already said that. Any type of healing that is required, like that's the energy being bestowed upon um, Scorpio. And here we have the Sagittarius and Chiron. So how synchronistic is that? And Sagittarius is, you know, of higher learning and spirituality. So some of you could um, actually be starting to learn Reiki or um, work with essential oils and herbs and a bunch of natural remedies. Um, you're just learning more organic ways of healing, more holistic ways, um, not so much Western medicine. So that's definitely a focus for some of you, but for others of you, this is um, about the healing that you're receiving somehow, some way. So let's see what is being manifested for you guys with this full moon energy. We have playful, nice, we like that. And we have visions, Aphrodite. So um, with Chiron, there is the element of um, healing with animals. So, you know, if you are around animals, they can be very healing, playing with them, interacting with them. I just say that because we have the cat here as well. So interact with animals as much as you possibly can over this full moon cycle. Um, oh, and look at that. Somebody's car alarm went going crazy. So I take that as a sign that animals are where it's at for Scorpio. Anyways, 
you see this big full moon. So with this um, paired up with Chiron, I know that some of you, there's been some sort of emotional um, loss that has taken place in your life as of recent or you've been dealing with it for a while because this card really does talk about, you know, the loss of something. Um, and so I see the healing coming in to that loss and you just feeling much happier and more playful through this full moon energy than you have been in the past but also with this Scorpio is telling you that your intuition is on point and look at this is card 44 and this is card 8 that would be an 8 right so the infinity symbol 8 is a big um, number for you through this full moon cycle as well so your intuition is really on point trust yourself 100 percent um you you are going to be feeling much better hang out with animals if you can but chiron is like naturally leading you to everything you need to do to fully heal yourself and to restore happiness um back in your life wherever it may be lacking it just to me um this sagittarius full moon is healing um, making you feel real good and uh, also man your intuition so let's uh, pull some advice for Scorpio I don't know some of you might be getting like a new cat or a new dog and that's going to be like all you need to heal yourself yeah, oh my god Look at that. That's your card. And look at this is card 33. So we have 33, 44. So we have master numbers here as well. Healing, reconnecting with your true nature. Yeah. Um, Scorpio, I, I know nobody, like it's boring to be told to go hang out in nature, to hang out with animals. But for real, I mean, that's just like saturated throughout your reading um, this full moon energy is all about healing for Scorpio there's a lot being offered to you guys in that respect um, the situations coming to you the people around you also being around animals every bit of it is the universe coming in to assist you and heal you the universe works and moves through everyone and everything including you including me haven't you ever done something and afterwards you're like why did I even do that it was like I was watching myself in slow motion while I was doing it and I couldn't fucking stop it right well it's because the universe works through anything and everything sometimes you know it is just beyond our control and where you keep your vibration is how the universe can use you and work through you so that's why I say you know vibrate high because those are the experiences you want to have right so through this full moon cycle in Sagittarius you guys are begin are being given so much to heal and let go and feel re-empowered also with this it's saying some of you got really off course with with yourself and and what you're trying to achieve in life and your goals and we're being pulled back to our spiritual center and remembering who we are and we're letting all that healing come in and take place your intuition on fire Scorpio on fire listen to it be playful get an animal if you need to do whatever it takes for healing go get some Reiki listen to meditations on YouTube um, meditate yourself exercise change your diet you know go to the doctor if you need to go to the doctor like whatever it is that you've got to do to heal yourself on every level you have the power through this Sagittarius full moon cycle to make it happen and be healed and complete by the time that moon um, becomes full in Capricorn on the 28th of June so very powerful reading for Scorpio um, intense healing big time um, just things getting so much better for you guys so those are your messages Scorpio um, I am wishing you guys all the very very best and lots of love wonderful healing and may the rest of 2018 just turn around and go in your favor take care guys